call Halayim La Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah by Hashem Akakwadash. Double honor to the elders, the apostles, the great millstone who will teach well the hopeful elect. Sincere Shalom to the hopeful elect, the house of David, that's pushing this truth with our truth and sincerity, tuning into this truth with our truth and sincerity. Now, I found this video very interesting, very funny, because you got Esau, a more middle aged, almost grandpa aged Edomite. Looks like he's in his 40s, maybe 50s, right? And he's um pretty much talking about Edomites. He's not talking about Jake or the rest of these heathens. This and you can just tell from how he's talking in his video. He's talking about the Edomites. Alright, so called white people. And as you can see from looking at this man, he's red. He has red flesh. Alright. And um he in this video, which I'm gonna play it, I'm gonna probably play almost the whole video if not the whole video and he goes into how Esau is falling under the curses pretty much Esau has nothing you know the Edomite man right is uh their women are 304s they're, they're whores um their the economy is is garbage and so on and so forth and without further ado let's just play the video I don't expect to see like like just uh, us go into Mad Max, a Mad Max situation overnight, and um, it will be uh, much worse than Mad Max. You see, I watched Mad Max. I watched the Thunderdome and a uh, little bit of the Fury Road, and I watched the first one. And I'm gonna be honest, they're not really that crazy. I mean, it has a little look crazy stuff in there, but. <sighs> the whole premises of Mad Max is not, it should not be compared to what's coming, alright? If anything, you should list, I don't know, I can't even think of something, but Mad Max is like light work compared to what the Heavenly Father is going to bring to Babylon the Great. It's going to be a slow decline. Now, it's guaranteed to get bad. Uh, it's not about, this is not about fear mongering, this is not about my think so, because of one reason. And that is, young men are not going into the workforce. Young men have realized that they have very little prospects. They have very few opportunities. Now, we're talking about Jack's age. Very few opportunities. Um, the state of Western white women, uh, they're undateable. Uh, you see how he just specified uh, Edomite women, so-called white women? Because he's an Edomite, man. Jake, Jake hasn't truly understood that every single Edomite is not, you know, like them. They don't care about us. They never have. They never will. Because from, from the womb before Jacob and Esau even got a breath of fresh air, they're already fighting each other. And uh, it's, 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 it's hilarious, all right, seeing Esau suffering, right? They're, these Edomites out here are suffering, man. They're 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 going out like losers. You see, back in the day, man, back in the day, what after World War II, so let's say the fifties up until you know two thousand eight, right? Especially the fifties to like the early nineties. Oh yeah, man, it was it was amazing being an Edomite in America, work a, a nine to five job, have a wife. Have some land, your own home, two, three cars, send your kids to college, all on one salary, man. And now what? E listen, even if you make a hundred thousand dollars a year, which only what? If we're just factoring factoring in men, like only fifteen percent of men make over six figures a year, right? So. If even if you're making six figures a year, you're still going to have some type of struggle in Babylon. That's how you know this place is out the door. But let's let's look at this uh, Edomite sobbing about his uh, his his nation, his people. <laughs> not suitable. The majority of them not suitable for wives. 
and the courts are stacked against them in the family court. If they do find one of these women in 10 years, she can say she's not happy and destroy the man and take his kids away from him. The young men are seeing this. They've watched it in their grandfathers. They've watched it in their fathers. They've watched how their mothers have divorced and treated their fathers, etc., etc., and they don't want it. And they're basically checking out. They're not interested in dating because it just isn't worth it. They're not interested in going and busting their bodies, breaking their bodies for a lifetime of career uh, that they could be discarded or abandoned the moment that they're no longer able to do the job. They're no longer worth interested in trying because land and homes are so expensive. The idea of of even having getting a piece of land and and with a and trying to find a, a, a woman that doesn't have a, a body count of 50, 60, 70, 100 after college is almost impossible. And they just are saying, you know, screw it. And then military service, you know, that was always a refuge. If you didn't have the ability to get land or a home or a decent job, you could all, or a woman, you could always go into the military and get a head start, get a little bit of training. The respect that always came with that, you know, it would give you a, a better chance of, of landing a higher quality mate. You know, now are, are you going to go fight for the people that actually hate you? You know, they're, they're not into that. Let me get some scriptures on this because um, one scripture comes to mind. Jeremiah 51 and um, verse verse 30. Jeremiah 51 and 30. The mighty men of Babylon have forborne to fight. They have remained in their holds. Their might hath failed. They became as women. So these Edomites, these Edomite Babylonians going to be going to be bitches, man. They're going to turn straight bitch out here. Right. They already turned straight bitch. Let's uh, keep reading. They have burned her dwelling places. Her bars are broken, right? So the average the average Edomite men are out here, right? Because you have to factor in um the the young adults, you know, eighteen or like forty or whatever. They're losers, man. They're weak. They're losers. You know, overweight. They're they're just. They're, 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 what do you call them? Incels or black pillars or whatever, right? They're, they're losers, man. The average Edomite's a fucking loser out here. They're losers. And losers in the sense that they're not really uh, masculine. They're not, um, they don't have anything worth living for. Because you got to think about it. Babylon's garbage. Economy's garbage. The women, garbage, right? So what do you, what, what's worth living for? You see? And it's the truth. It's the truth. If you're Edomite, or you a Jake in the world that don't know nothing about the scriptures, what are you living for? What? Slaving for, for, for pennies, pretty much. Your wife got 50 bodies on her, right? You see? Let's keep going. There's no more military service. So when you take all these as a whole, you start to realize that's why the black pilling that's why the young men are staying home and basically uh basically what black pill is is that um it's different meanings behind the black pill but in this situation i just pretty much just explained it um there's nothing if you don't have a certain type of whatever that's your ass pretty much there's nothing and it's mostly people in babylon the great and mainly eat up because you got to understand that the majority of people in Babylon are still, um, like as a specific nation, is still Edomites, right? It's still Edomites, right? Um, now, obviously, I think if you do like quote unquote colored versus Edomites, it's like probably more colored people. But the majority, as a as a nation, the Babylon is still majority Edomites, all right? And they're they're losers, right? They're lo the majority of Edomites are losers. The women are garbage. The men are weak. Babylon is is falling. Smoking weed, watching pornography, and playing video games. Because why would they fight? What do they have to live for? It's op it's hopeless. There's there's just no point. Now I'm not saying it's right or it's wrong, this, but this is the reality. This is how they feel. And the world revolves around the replenish. It needs to be replenished. Our economy needs to be replenished by these very men.
Are women going to be in the oil fields drilling? Are women going to be up on the power poles in the middle of an ice storm putting the power back on? Are women going to be plumbing and doing septic tanks and running the, the infrastructure and heavy equipment and cranes and construction to keep society going? You know they're not. You know they're not. So, as more and more men of the, these men and boys when decide not to go into these trades and not to go into and not start families and not start, start kids, and now we're reaching to the point where we're going below replacement, the replacement numbers, the replacement that we need before our, our, our population starts to shrink. We're just, this is the tip. And he's talking about, uh, again, he's only talking about Edomites. He's not talking about America or uh, whatever. He's talking about Edomites. The tribes of Edom. Well, I wouldn't even say all the tribes of Edom because I'm. He's probably one of those small hat haters. You know, Esau has some infighting. Uh, the rest of the tribes of Edom don't really mess with the small hats because the small hats are greedy and hoarding all that wealth for themselves. You know. The iceberg. This has been brewing for a decade. Just now, are a lot of you waking up to the reality? Just now, I, I mean, I'm recently waking up to this. But this is this is this is the future. So this has been set in motion through feminism, and you know, 64, 68 percent of new doctors are are going to be female. You know, just doctors alone, and you know, you know how women are in these trades. They can a woman, woman can be a, a good doctor, just you know, just like a man can be, but they don't t tend to want to work as as many hours. And once they get into the once they get married and they marry another doctor and they want to start raising their families, then they cut their hours back. You know, it's the men that are willing to put in the eighteen hour days. It's not typically the women. So then you're gonna have not only do you have a decline of doctors and health care, where you have majority of, of college graduates are women, majority of doctors and professionals are women now that don't have the desire to put in the hours and the sacrifice that men have traditionally, it's a recipe for disaster. So you don't have to be, I mean, this is not fear mongering. This is, this is, these are just the facts. This is what the future is going to bring. And the more these young men that stay home and check out and, and also where are the ta where does the tax money to pay for all of this stuff come from? It comes off the back majority of young men, men with businesses that put in the hours that make the incomes. And when that, that's also diminishing. So no military service. Nobody getting married, very few people getting married anymore, people not going. Yeah, because the reason why Edomites, because, you know, Jake's been suffering for, for this for, uh, what is it, decades, right? Or I should say centuries, but since Jake got that yoke loosened up off our necks, right, we've been suffering this for decades. Esau's feeling just a little bit of the pressure, right? And they're already folding, right? You see, Jake, we've been through centuries of oppression, chastisement from the Heavenly Father by these Edomites. And we've endured it. And these Edomites feeling just a small fraction of what we've been through. And they're already folding under pressure. So just imagine when we got them shackled up, man. They're not going to be able to handle it. Oh, and another thing to these women, especially these Edomite women, man, they're, they're, they're sluts, man. Like I'm a, like I seen, not seen, but I've been in situations where like, like from my experience of dealing with women, right? The most aggressively sexually active women are Edomite women. They don't care, man. They, if they want you, they're going to come after you. Like, they're very aggressive, from my experience, right? So, that just, just lets you... I mean, it's a sheet of might. You see what I'm saying? The basis of women. And uh, Esau, even though you don't really see him talking about it a lot, they feel some type of way about uh, the sheet of might sleeping with Jake. All right? The workforce, or men not going to the workforce anymore, and uh, it, and just basically checking out. You don't have the tax base, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It is going to come to a screeching halt until there's incentives. There needs to be the only way to get this train back on on track 
is to completely, for society to have a completely different look at the importance of young men and males uh, that are the backbone and that run this country. There needs to be incentive. In the past, the Roman soldier was incentivized. If he would, would fight and be brave and, and sacrifice and maybe even put his life at risk, then at the other end, there was something promised to him. There was, land, there was a land grant. There was something that he... Only thing promised for you Edomites is slavery. That's the only thing promised for you. All right, let's get this. Um, Jeremiah 30 and 16. Therefore, all they that devoured thee shall be devoured. And all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. Was, was not the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American prey? All right? For these Edomites? Yes or no? And that's the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are indeed the Israelites. All right? The ones that wrote the scriptures, the scriptures written for, so on and so forth. All right? forward to a piece of land and a woman that would come with that where he could raise his family and he could get a start in life. He had something to fight for. He had something to, to put on the armor and go through the, the struggles and the aggravation for because there was something on the other end to work towards. In the early days of this of this country, the same thing, the, the, you, the land grants that a man, if you were willing to go out and put four stakes in the ground and section off your 40 acres and build it up and build a sod house and improve it and plant crops, that that, that, that came back, to, that would belong to you. You would be willing to fight for that land. You would be willing to fight, fight natives off. You'd be willing to... You see? You see what he's saying? All right? Esau came over here, raped, robbed, and murdered Gad and Reuben and the rest of the northern kingdom. And he, they're proud of that, you see? And now it's, it's gone. It's gone. And that's, that's, that's the glory of the Heavenly Father, that these Edomites are falling. You see, everything they've done has been adverse to the scriptures while they're trying to promote the scriptures like they're the righteous. You see, and now it's all failing, it's tumbling, it's crashing. And it's not going to come back. It's never going to come back. The Edomites are never going to rise again. Talking about fighting off the natives, man. You, 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 you were, and who knows what other vile things Esau was doing to us, man. We, we know how vile Esau is, but we don't know everything. Esau is a homosexual. He's filthy. Who knows what type of heinous acts Esau has done to us? And they think that it was all fine and dandy. This is Jeremiah. 51 and 9, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go every one to his own country for her judgment reaches unto the heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. There's no Babylon is through. Now, next up is what? Economic collapse. You see these women, these women going to be hunted like freaking prey. They're going to be like, uh, what? Um, deer. I was thinking of this scripture right here. Let me get it. A chaste row. And a row is like a gazelle, I believe. This is Isaiah 13 and um, 12, verse 11. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible so these edomites they're they're being humbled man all right e edomites the average edomite out here is not proud of nothing and if they are they're they're delusional there's no actual you see back in the day esau has something to be proud of right they they conquered israel they got babylon the great they got a booming economy Number one military, whatever, right? Average Edomite in America now don't got really, really don't got the strongest military anymore. 
Your economy's not strong at all. Your women are 304s. Your men are weak. You see? This is verse uh, 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. Therefore I will shake the heavens, and the earth shall remove out of her place in the wrath of Yahweh of hosts in the day of his fierce anger. And that's talking about the nukes. And it shall be as, a, as the chaste roe, and as a sheep that no man taketh up. They shall, they shall every man turn to his own people, and flee every one into his own land. So that, that lines up. Hey, that's the, that's the spirit right there, man. Because that lines up what I just read in Jeremiah 51, man. You see, that's the spirit for real. Um, and these women, you see, the women are going to have it way worse than men because women aren't going to, like, men out here are not going to uh, protect women, right? What does it say right there on a, the kind of, like, top, top right of the screen? Why are 66... Percent of young men single because these women are 304s. I think it's a rule called like the 80 20 rule or something like that, or I think it's 90 10 now or something, where 80 percent of women only want to get with like the top 20 or 10 percent man, pretty much because you know women are very hypergamous. So, um, and there's examples of that in the scriptures with King David where he slept with one of his soldiers' uh, w w wife. Um, that was an example of hypergamy because she was naked, coincidentally bathing where King David could see her. So that's just an example of hypergamy. So these, these women, when this economy is real, real bad, they don't have a, I just seen one of the, the elders, I think it's Mata Zagba, where he was talking about, uh, was it child support? They're not going to have child support. The government's not going to be backing them. The police not going to be backing them. They're going to be praying, man. There's a lot of men out here. Like, I just, not I just, but I seen a video of Esau. And he was he was mad at the small hats, right? He was mad at Jake, specifically Judah, Benjamin, Judah. And he was, um, he was saying, he, man, he, Esau's sick. He was saying how when society gets real bad, he, he has tranquilizers or something. He's going to tranquilize women and, and, and grape them, man. Oh, yeah. He said he was going to tranquilize, tranquilize women and then grape them. It's, it, these women are through. How? And it's not like women can, can gang up in a big old group. Or <laughs> Women ganging up in a big old group is like a horde of deer crowding up when a, a, the hunter has his freaking bow or his rifle aimed at it. Like you're, It's not going to help. See, you women are screwed, man. But let's continue this video. Out there 16 hours a day and endure the hot Kansas, Nebraska sun, pulling a plow and building a sod house because you knew that you would someday, that this would belong to you, that you would own it, that you were working for something to, that, that would benefit you and your family. Well, all of that incentive has been stripped away from, these, from, the, from this generation, from Jack's generation of these men. Why would they go fight for a country that hates them? Why would they go work and destroy their bodies like their father? And that's right. Babylon does not care about any man for the most part, start, starting with the I Israelites, of course, right? We don't really care about these heathens at all because they're, they are our enemies. They don't provide us anything positive, you see? And But just on the, in, on the side of just being a Babylonian citizen, right? They don't, what are they, toxic masculinity and all this, right? That, that's that been spewed for, I don't know how long, but it's been a while, right? So, but at the same time, as soon as something happens, oh yeah, draft. We need the men to do this, this, and that. So that just shows, one, how hypocritical these Edomites are, and two, the, the, the fall. Because once everything starts really going popping off man it's just gonna be a very very rude awakening for almost everybody of course us the elect well lord willing we are part of the elect the hopeful elect we'll um we know what's coming right and we're preparing ourselves for that and you know you you have people that 
aren't even Israelites that that understand what's happening. I mean, you got this guy saying it, and uh, I don't, I don't really know this guy at all. I just saw the video, I knew it would be edifying. Um, so, but I've met some people that are have no clue, not no clue, but aren't in the truth, and they understand what's coming, but that that protection, that that power. To truly survive what's coming is only for the elect. Grandfather did for what? For a country that hates them. Why would they be involved in politics or, or want to uh, work so hard just to pay 40, 50 percent, 50, 60 percent of their money out in taxes to uh, a government that hates them? I mean, do you start to see now? Do you understand why they're staying at home and why they're not getting involved? It's because they have no hope. There's no point of it. And it's, like I said, it's true. What's the point? All right, what's the point? If you see what you, you see, what, what's going on with Babylon, you got the women running wild. The government is promoting the women running wild. No type of masculine energy or whatever that's being spewed out. What's the point? And try to set up something in Babylon. What's the point? Unless you're a sellout. Because best believe these celebrities are sellouts, man. I think it was Pimp C or one of those Houston rappers. They were saying in order to touch a meal, you either got to get popped in the butt or uh, sacrifice a family member. Would you? you and know, that's talking about uh, in Holly Weird. Not, it's, that's what's going to happen. So services are going to be diminished what you you've always been able to to have to call a plumber and he comes out and fixes your problem we're not too many far years away where if you have a problem like that you're gonna have to deal with it deal with it on your own because one you won't even be able to afford it because as the scarcity of these tradesmen go up the value of them will go up as well so the wages will go up so there could be some savior there you know if we get to the point where roofers are so badly needed that they're they're paying them two hundred thousand dollars a year now. Young men will go in there and do that because that now gives them the ability to acquire the resources to get what they want, which is a family <coughs> and land. Jeremiah fifty and twenty three. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How has Babylon become a desolation among the nations? A home of their own. <coughs> but that's not happening now. And I don't know if it's likely to happen. So, how's that going to affect you? How's that going to affect me? Well, Proho's not necessarily going to be too affected by that, because Proho, when his plumbing backs up, he's going to be able to deal with that on his own. Proho has made the decision to have to either one be bachelor a bachelor and in that case you have you're going to sail through all of this you a, a single man can live for almost nothing uh, a mattress on the floor uh, a 60 inch TV a refrigerator maybe a couple toys motorcycle you're good man you can get by on fifteen thousand dollars a year and be just happy and content but you might start bringing women into your life. Uh, and decorating and now you have to have the big house and multiple cars and kids and sports and all that now you're working <laughs> now you're working to pay for all of that right so we all make our decisions proho will be okay because he'll fall on one, one of the all right that's it for that video so esau is screwed there's no coming back there's no hope there's no light at the end of the tunnel but for the elect of yahweh Shem. Yeah, I was shy. That's the only light at the end of the tunnel. And it's finna be, it's finna get real, real dark in Babylon, man. Real, real dark. And the elect are gonna shine in that darkness. Alright, Lord willing, that's gonna be the title of my next video. You see? That's gonna be my title for my next video, Lord willing. I'm gonna end this off right here in uh Deuteronomy chapter 30. And, uh, verse 7. And Yahweh thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies, and on them that hate thee 
and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. And this is just the beginning. Just wait until these Edomites got that yoke upon their necks. Lord's will is edifying. Shalom.